Welcome and welcome in my beautiful souls. It is your girl Wounded Healer of Tarot and I am back again with another reading here for you today. This will be a general reading for the sign Taurus. I'm going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to hear, see, and know most importantly at this time for your highest good. So if you do resonate with this reading, I truly appreciate it if you give this message a thumbs up. That is not only one way to support my channel, but it is also a way of letting me know that the message also resonated with you. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. All right. So no further ado, let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, calling on you, asking that you place divine protection over me as I go into the divination of Tarot. What is it that Taurus is needing to see, hear, and know most importantly at this time for their highest good? Let's see what angels are surrounding you. Let's see what angels are wanting to connect with you or what angels you are needing to connect with, all right? Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, what's the energy surrounding Taurus? What is it that they need to see, hear, and know most importantly for their highest good? Let's see what's going on. What's the overall energy surrounding Taurus? What angels are trying to connect with Taurus? What angels are connecting with Taurus? Let's see what's going on. Thank you. Okay. So you have leap of faith coming through. It says, I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Okay. You also have the divine physician. Archangel Raphael. It says, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine lights upon my healthy body. And we also have Earth Angel. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. I could not help but see at the bottom of the deck, it says, honor your feelings. Archangel Henio. Thank you, Henio, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. So what this is telling me is that this is requiring you to leave behind something, someone, or a certain place that is no longer serving you for your highest good. Whatever it is not that is not aligned with you, your true heart's desires, it is requiring you to leave something behind. It is requiring you to take a leap of faith. It's requiring you to release something here. It feels like something is blocked. Okay, there feels like there's some sort of restriction, something here that may have a hold on you or something here that is attached to you, but it feels like it's unhealthy. It feels like there's a sense of toxicness tied to it. Okay, for some of you, this could be a pattern. Okay, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, what's the energy surrounding Taurus? What is it that they need to see here and know most importantly for their highest good? You can call on Archangel Raphael, who is associated with your heart chakra. Something here tied to your emotions. Something here tied to your feelings. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's the energy surrounding Taurus? Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors. What's the overall energies surrounding Taurus? What is it that they need to see, hear, and know? Okay, so we have dispersing coming through. The number 59, breaking down to a number 14, which breaks down to a number 5. There feel It feels like you're struggling with something here. Maybe with this dispersing card, it feels like you're maybe over giving or you're over sharing here, but it feels like you're not receiving the same in, in return. So it could be causing you to feel drained or it could cause you to feel undervalued. It, it could cause you to feel overlooked here in some sort of way. It's some sort of internal conflict here. So I'm picking up an energy where there could be an energy where you're maybe confiding in others because there's something you're yearning for. There's something that you're missing inside, but it feels like there's something that is needing to be healed internally with you, with you. and you can't make it up. But I'm right behind that was nourishment. So it feels like you're needing to replenish your mind, your body, and your soul. It feels like you're needing to nourish you, love more on you, take more care of you. Honor you is what this feels like. Taurus, 
27 is breaking down to a number nine. So there's something here needing to come to an end. There's some, some sort of change and transition that is taking place at this moment here for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Let's use this deck, actually. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, what's the energy surrounding Taurus? What is it that they need to see, hear, and know? Most importantly, for their highest good. What's the energy? Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, what's the energy surrounding Taurus? What is it that they need to see, hear, and know? Most importantly, for their highest good. Yes, Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Followed by the page of pentacles in reverse. This is an energy of not getting something in return. This is an energy of you waiting for someone to show up or you're waiting for something to come in, but it's not happening. Okay. With the page of pentacles and the seven of pentacles both being in reverse that's equaling to the eight of pentacles and what this is telling me is that something is not working out someone or something is not putting in the effort okay again it seems like you're putting more energy into something but you're not getting the same in return tell me more holy spirit seven of pentacles page of pentacles what's the energy surrounding this reading for Taurus? The nine of cups, it could be affecting your happiness. It could be affecting your happiness. You may feel like your light is being dimmed right now. You may be feeling like you're just not feeling completed in some sort of way. Again, I'm getting an energy where it feels like something is missing. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this has to do with your family. For some of you, this has this could have to do with your children, if you have children. For some of you, this could have to do with some sort of relationship. Really, all you want is stability. You want happiness. You want peace. You want harmony. You want joy. You want balance. But I'm not seeing that. Tell me more. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors, it's something you're holding on to. Okay? What's the message here? Tell me more. Or somebody is holding back from you. What's the energy? Tell me more. Nine of Cups for Taurus. The Judgment in Reverse. You could be seeing the Angel number 1010. Why is the Judgment in Reverse? The Two of Wands. Because you have a decision you're needing to make. You have a decision you're needing to make and that decision is something is needing to end in order for something new to come in. Tell me more. What's the message here for Taurus, Two of Wands, Judgment in Reverse? Thank you. Four of Cups. There's something new waiting to come in towards you here. These three cups are no longer fulfilling you. They're no longer bringing you emotional satisfaction. They're no longer bringing you happiness, right? They're, and you're seeing this new opportunity. And it's telling me that you're considering taking this new opportunity. Again, you have a decision you're needing to make. And you are at a crossroads right now. I do feel like you are you are at a point right now where it's like you know something needs to change. Hmm. You know something needs to change. Tell me more. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors. What is this Four of Cups, Two of Wands? What's the message? King of Wands in reverse. You're not feeling... I'm getting an energy where you're not feeling as inspired. You may be even feeling like you're not looking your best, feeling your best. It feels like you're definitely beating yourself up in some way, shape, or form. For some of you, this King of Wands, when it's in reverse, this is someone who lacks confidence this is someone who lacks motivation this is someone who lacks something internally okay justice at the bottom libra energy with that justice being at the bottom i 
Okay, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors. Tell me more. King of Wands in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. You've been definitely going within. You have been reevaluating things. You have been analyzing things. You have been thinking about things. And I do feel like, again, there is something you know need to change. You're seeing something very clear for exactly what it is. But something is, it's like it has a, a hold on you. It's like something has a grasp on you. Tell me more, Two of Swords in reverse. The King of Coins. This could be, with that King of Coins coming out, this could have something to do with your work, your finances. This could have something to do with you relying or depending on someone. Tell me more, Two of Swords in reverse. The Six of Coins. You're relying or depending on someone. That could have also been why that justice was trying to come through as well. Maybe you're in a contract with someone. Maybe you're legally tied to someone in some way. But it also feels like you've had enough of something here. And that's why you're being right now required to take a leap of faith. It feels like forgiveness is also needed when it comes to a particular situation. Tell me more. Six of coins. Seven of swords. There's some sort of deception here. You may feel like somebody is taking advantage of you in some way. You may feel like somebody is lying to you, deceiving you in some sort of way. Tell me more. Seven of swords, six of coins. I'm also getting an energy where you may feel like somebody is using you, but they're deceiving you. They're lying to you. They could be trying to manipulate you. It is something you are seeing very clear on, though. It could be coming from a, a, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. Tell me more. Seven of swords, eight of swords. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody here is definitely deceiving you in some sort of way. You see how that person has a blindfold over their face, over their eyes, so you can't see. So you're being told right now to trust your intuition, honor your inner feelings, honor your inner knowing when it comes to a particular person, when it comes to a particular situation. Somebody here is trying to keep you bound. Somebody here is trying to keep you stuck. We go from the seven of swords to the eight of swords. Somebody here is definitely doing something, okay? And they're deceiving you in some sort of way. Tell me more. The nine of wands, okay? Somebody here could be buying a car. Somebody here could be um, getting their car out the tow lot. Somebody that was getting towed or somebody here. Let's see what, let's, what what's going on. Holy Spirit, five of pentacles. You may be finding yourself having to take out a loan, you may be have, finding yourself having to ask for extra cash. Maybe, oh, I just heard something. Um, I'm, I heard do something strange for a piece of change, okay? I'm not sure what that means, okay? Take it as it resonates for you, okay? But it seems like somebody here has found themselves in a bind, okay? I heard, I'm in a bind, Nate. What's that, uh, what's that, set it off? Give me one second. I'm in a bind, Nate. I hope this is not someone at my door. Somebody is finding themselves in a bind. That's what I'm seeing here. You may have to get your car to tow lot. You may have to, yeah, Queen of Wands. You may have to use your sex appeal in some sort of way. You may find yourself div diving into magic in some sort of way. Yes, putting on that charm, putting on that suave, that 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 that, that, that charm. Yeah, because you are in some sort of bind. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling overburdened by something here. And it has to do with your bills or your finances. For some of you, and you may not be getting help from a lover. Okay? That's what I'm 
seeing as well. Tell me more. Knight of Cups. Yes, look at that. The serpent. Knowledge and healing. Right now you're being told to release. Right now you're being told to heal. Shed all layers of your skin. Again, what was once working for you was no longer working for you. The number 23 breaking down to a number five. You could be seeing five, five, five. I may have to end this live, okay, and come back to record. Yeah, you, you have a decision you're needing to make. It looks like you're trying to decide on something. It looks like you're trying to, to make a decision on something here. I feel like you're feeling like you're at a crossroads, okay? Yep, the Hierophant is in reverse. Taurus energy showing up. For some of you, this is about something that is not working out. It's a commitment. It's a relationship, okay? It's something that is not working out. Five, what's the Hierophant in reverse? The two of wands in reverse. You feel stuck. You feel stuck. You feel stuck. Why is that? The fool in reverse. Five of wands. You feel conflicted. You feel conflicted in some way. Why is that Holy Spirit, the fool in reverse, two of wands in reverse, the heraldant in reverse? We have wife in reverse. Somebody here could be going through a divorce. I'm hearing it's final. Yeah, look at that. Despair at the bottom of the deck followed by house. You are, somebody here could be moving, relocating, okay, is what I'm seeing here. Somebody, the wife card is in reverse with the hero fit. Somebody here is going through a separation. Somebody here is going through a divorce. Tell me more. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? The seven of cups and the will of fortune. You have a choice. You have a decision you're needing to make. I feel like something here has ran its course. Somebody's Venus could be in Scorpio. Somebody's Jupiter could be in Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Aquarius. Something here was karmic, okay, with this will of fortune is what I'm seeing here. It's, it's, it feels like it's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to leave something behind. Yeah, we got the harvest moon being in reverse. It, it's a turning point needing to take place, okay? Something here is needing to change. Something here is needing to shift, okay, is what I'm seeing here. What else, Holy Spirit, my angels, my ancestors? What's the energy surrounding Taurus? Okay, we got non-duality. It says, let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the, bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. So there's something here you're... It seems like your spirit guides are wanting to connect more with you. It seems like your spirit guides are wanting to to get it. They, they're wanting to connect with you here. And it feels like there is some sort of stillness. You cannot. Stilling. There's some sort of stillness that is needed at this time. You could be 52 years of age, 59 years of age, 27 years of age, 43 years of age. There is some sort of stillness that is needed at this time. Thank <laughs> you. 